Hi everyone, so um, for this week's art project, we're gonna make um, like a 3D uh, relief sculpture. So we're gonna use rolled paper, and then um, this is a piece of foam core, but you can use uh, cardboard if you have it, or like, so I'll use cardboard for my example. Um, or if you use just paper, it's just hard, uh, it's not as sturdy to like hold these papers up, um, but if you kind of balance it, it, it might sit on its own. So if you have anything thicker than just paper, uh, that would be great. Even um, like a paper plate would work um, as cardboard too. So we're gonna look at some abstract artists and their work to learn more about abstract art. Abstract art uses line, color, shape, form to convey ideas. Um, they can use technique like splatter painting in this Jackson Pollock um, painting. And abstract art tends to be a lot about the idea and the process rather than the end result. And um, this is a Kandinsky piece that's also abstract that focuses on color. So abstract is a really open-ended idea. Okay, so to start our sculpture, we're going to, I'm just taking a piece of cardboard, it's not even a perfect shape, um, and I'm just gonna paint it. So if you don't have paint at home, um, you don't have to paint it. Like if you have a construction paper or even um, white paper that you could color, uh, that would be fine too. So from what we looked at with the, in some of our abstract artists, like there's not, there's no really right or wrong. So I'm just going to paint this um, as I want with no, I'm not really making anything in particular. I just want some, I just want some nice color on my page or on my cardboard. So I guess what I like about abstract art is how open-ended it is and that there's never really a right or wrong when you make it. It's just whatever you want. Whatever you're feeling at that time. Okay. So now before I move on, I'm just going to uh, let this dry kind of reminds me of um, a sunset, like right before it gets really, really dark. So, okay, I'm gonna let this dry. Okay, so for this second part, you'll need um, some wet glue, or uh, if you're working with an adult, you could use hot glue. Um, just be careful, because hot glue is hot, so you don't wanna touch it. Um, a pencil, a pair of scissors, and then I have a bunch of like scrap, colorful construction paper. Um, you could use white paper, you could even use magazine if you don't have colorful paper. So whatever you have available to you works totally fine. Um, and then you do want it to be like in a, in a strip. So you want like a strip of paper. Um, I'm gonna do just a straight one to start. So it doesn't have to quite be as long as I had, like this is fine. And you're actually going to take the paper and hold it on your pencil and then you're going to roll it up. So it's nice to use a pencil as a tool because um, it makes the roll like really tight and you don't want it to be too loose or it kind of comes apart too much. So, and it's all right if the pencil like comes out, but you just want to make sure that like it's nice and tight because then when, when you let go, it'll start to, to loosen. And then if you like feel like it's too tight, you can always like run your finger through it and that'll make it even bigger. So then you're gonna take your wet glue and it's totally up to you where you want to place your um, paper. And you wanna use a fair amount of glue for this because it does take a little bit to stick. And you're just gonna set the paper on there. So this is gonna be a pretty fragile art piece until it dries. So once you set a piece on there, you don't really want to move it. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna take a different color, cut it into a strip of paper. And then this time, and if you have scissors that have like different edges, that looks really cool too. Because what you can do is you can make a pattern 
along the top edge. So it couldn't be the edge that you glued down, that should stay flat. But you can do it along the top edge. So I've got this zigzag line. And you're gonna do the same trick with the pencil. like give it a good squeeze um, and then it'll start to unroll and you'll see that it just has like a different shape it kind of reminds me of a rose actually um, so I can find a different spot on my paper and remember this is your artwork so you you do it however it makes you happy glue it wherever you want move it wherever you want and most wet glue like will just dry clear so it's white right now but it will just be clear by the time it's done so um, I'll do one more for you but as you can see from my example like I did a bunch on this one and it's kind of cool like the idea of it too is um, it's cool if you like hang it on the wall and look at it like this but you can also see it from the side so um, I'll just do one more Sorry, hold on. you should see this crazy way I try to get my camera set up Okay, and they can also be like different heights. So like the red one was really tall. This one is a little shorter. This one might even be a little shorter. So this time I might try to do a wavy line. You could even do like, um, you know, make like a fringe top too. So I can try that. So you can make fringe by just like cutting little, a little bit into your paper. And then like you could always kind of move your fingers on it to, to give it more of a fringy look. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the same thing again with my pencil. Roll it nice and tight. Ah. Okay, give it a good squeeze so I know that it it's all good. That one actually looks pretty cool. Um, okay, and then I might just put this one here. So if I were to keep going, I would probably, um, you know, like you want to somewhat even your space out. So I'd probably put like one here, maybe one here. Um, but. So there's my sculpture so far. Um, and I would definitely cover more areas, but I just wanted you to see kind of what it looked like. So um, I hope you have fun with this project. I hope you enjoy uh, doing something kind of different and playing with paper and making a sculpture. There's my other one right there. So I hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.